Welcome to a new series. Today we're gonna start playing High School Years, The Sims 4 Mossdale High. And if you guys haven't watched one of my series before, I like to do what's called rotational gameplay. So the idea is instead of playing one Sims family, you have multiple families. And then you switch households regularly and create lots of drama and all of that. I've prepared a little intro for you guys to watch to introduce you to the series. Let me know what you think. Welcome to Copperdale, the old mining town turned blue chip real estate. With an influx of wealth and business opportunity, the once cozy town has become a hotspot for affluent families. Copperdale is also home to the exclusive and tiny Mossdale High. With small schools come big clicks. We have the queen bee, Aurora, and her cheerleading friends. Aurora comes from parental knocks. Her dad is a rich mining guy whose wife is obsessed with fulfilling his misogynistic standards. Daniel, her brother, somehow manages to fulfill his parents' impossible expectations. Aurora is dating Caden Rust, the richest guy in town, to help secure her dad's business relations. His parents are scary strict though. His sister Savannah, yes it is pronounced Savannah, is also equally wild, loves fashion and partying. Lucy Vaughn is Aurora's loyal sheep. Her twin sister Blake Vaughn would much prefer to play video games instead of Aurora's popularity games. Blake hangs out with other fellow gamers Tane and Kaden. Kaden loves fashion and is making waves online for his iconic style. Though his older brother is a little sus. Tane is socially awkward but an academic genius, the complete opposite to his brother Koa who is a jokester athlete. Koa and Aurora are secretly crushing on each other, but unfortunately Koa isn't rich enough for Aurora, well her parents, to seriously consider dating. Last of all we have the new girl Selena Powell who has just moved into her grandpa's Copperdale residence. Her mum needs to care for her elderly grandpa and she was lucky enough to get an academic scholarship to Mossdale High. Welcome to Copperdale, where the drama begins. So let me know in the comments down below who your favorite character is so far, and if you're excited for the series, and if you have any ideas for storylines and storytelling. Just before we get into the video, just letting you guys know there has been a restock of Motherload crewnecks. They're designed by me. They have cheats on the sleeve, so if you're playing Sims, you can just look down and be like, right, that's the cheat I need to use. <laughs> So I'll link that in the description down below, sustainably and ethically sourced as well. Anyway, let's jump into it. Also, I've got bubble tea because there's a bubble tea store in this pack. So hello, we need to drink bubble tea. Okay, so of course we're starting this series on a super rainy and dark morning. Even though it's summer, it is raining. And this household is the Powell household. Um, so we have Selena, who's the new sim in town. She's just moved to Copperdale because her mom, Amisha, is looking after her grandpa, Manu, as he's getting a little bit older and this is his house and it's got stairs and stuff. So it's just like, he can't live in this house by himself anymore. So they've moved here and Selena is very, very smart. Uh, I think she's already in a chest t-shirt. Oh no, the kitty cat is hungry. No, the kitty cat needs a, didn't I put in a kitty litter tray? Okay, let's put a little kitty litter tray here. Um, and Amisha is like a super lovely mom. Let's become best friends right before Selena heads off to school for her first day. The idea is she's already had an orientation day and she's met some really nice Sims as well as the It Girl. Oh, she just leveled up in singing. Okay, there is a lot of notifications going on. Thrifty, okay. I was gonna say she's met the Queen Bee Aurora right here. But really other than that, she's just got a bad taste of Koa, who's another kid at school. And she's been invited to hang out with Kaden, Tane and Blake and they're all part of the gamers crew. I know, saying gamers sounds a bit kind of lame, but I don't really know what else to call them. Oh, okay, your sim is about to go to class. Would you care to join her? Let's absolutely join her. I think also we won't do the lottery because knowing my luck, we'll win the lottery and then it'll just ruin the storyline. <laughs> so I won't get a lottery ticket today. Okay, rainy, dark day at school. So welcome to Mossdale High. I was kind of hoping the weather would be nicer, um, but that's okay. Looking pretty good. This is my little school I built. Okay, so who's at school today? The thing with high school years is the Sims that come to school rotate every day. And I even got a mod to try and make my Sims turn up, but I still can't make it work. Who have we got here? 
Uh, oh, look at this. We've got Daniel Ashcroft. Not really sure what the get up is, but that's okay. So Daniel, which you would have seen in the intro, is Aurora's brother and she's part of the plastics as well as the cheerleader and the jocks. So the cheerleaders hang out with the jocks. They happen to be brother and sister. Oh, Tane's here. So we kind of know Tane. Tane's um, the geek who introduced us to our introduction school day. Um, so maybe she likes video gaming. Perfect. <laughs> I love it when the Sims work with our storyline. Let's go to Tane brighten their day. Uh, and Selena, you know, she's a geek. She's also a cheerful Sim. She's really nice. And she really aspires to reach her goals. So we want her to join an after school activity and do her homework. And yeah, I think Tane may be taking quite the liking to Selena as well. Oh, we should probably do some homework quickly while we can. Oh, and we should claim a locker as well. I'm interested to see what happens with the lockers between households. Like, I feel like, oh, that's the principal. I feel like we'll probably lose our locker. Oh, this is Aurora's locker. Look at that. And it looks like Tane is doing a T-pose challenge. Whoa, Aurora's lock is like full on. And this is Tane's, suits the gamer style. Oh, and then this is Molly. This is a EA made sim who's the principal's daughter. There will be an exam prep session after school today. All students are free to join us in class twos. Oh, okay. We can do some exam prep already. If we have a look at our aging, um, we've got 12 days until aging up. I could pause aging on the whole thing because the teenage years will go quite quickly, won't they? And the other thing is with prom, I thought prom was every second weekend. I'm so confused. We might have to organize prom more quickly than anticipated, or it might be next week. And our exam is next week and the following week. Okay. All right, well, we better um, stop homework, go into class. All right, oh, and who, where are we gonna sit? Oh, we're going to the other classroom. Okay, so we're not in Aurora's class today. I love that Aurora's sitting at the back. All right, we're in class just in time. So who is in, in our class? I love that Tane is sitting right at the front. Tane is kind of the nerd and he's really clever. So that makes sense. Koa over here, Koa is the class clown and a jock. He is basically in love with Aurora, which you guys know, but he's not really rich enough for Aurora's family to let her date him because they're like super snobs, horrible people. Funnily enough, Selena already dislikes Koa. Um, so I feel like maybe she finds him a bit arrogant. So I don't think there's actually much you can do in class, really. We can create a promposal sign. Um, we can't actually interact with the teacher either, I don't think. Like in class, you basically do nothing but sit here. I feel like it would be good if you could ask questions to at least level up, maybe. Um, can we just do our homework while we're in class? Probably not. I mean, what happens if we queue this up? Oh, it looks like we're taking notes. Okay. Oh, and now it's lunchtime. Does anyone know how to do this math? I used to get so stressed yeah. in math class because I'd start sweating, realizing that everyone next to me knew what they were doing and I didn't. Try to console. Hey, Tane, why are you feeling, why are you feeling so sad? <laughs> Promise to skip prom together. We're definitely not gonna do that. I do also have MC Command Center installed, which means we could do teen pregnancy and we could do relationship with an older sim. Not saying we will, but it's an option. Um, also, we need to claim a locker. Let's claim this one. Actually, no, let's claim next to Tane because Tane is so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. We're sitting by ourselves. <gasps> Tane is sitting with us. I love Tane. Tane is probably my favorite. What's going on over here? Oh, so these are the cool kids. Or it's probably like, is there anything low carb? She's not digging into the burgers or tacos. She's getting, you know, the meatballs, the carrot sticks. And she's like, ugh, I have to sit at this table with these guys who I don't really know because my plastic friends aren't here today, but it's fine. She does not look pleased. I feel like she does not like coming to school when she doesn't have her friends. And oh my gosh, wait, what? Okay, okay, this is kind of crazy because Aurora is sitting by herself at this table with obviously Koa, because Koa's in love with her. So of course he'll just be there all the time. Mind you, she does have a boyfriend who isn't at school today, but her brother isn't sitting with her. So there might be some tea time there. And he's decided 
to sit with a new girl. So could it be possible that he's interested? Maybe he's wanting to do a bit better at school. I don't know, I just find that very interesting. But Tane is obviously trying really hard to make us feel welcome. All right, we're just gonna get a little bit of homework done because I wanna work through Selena's aspiration. It is the end of school now. Um, and you know what, we could do a little uh, a little sneaky hangout, you know? Get all, all the people she's getting to know around to do some homework together. Um, and after doing homework, we should join an after school activity. So we use the new phone interface. Homework is done, beautiful. Okay, there's cheer team, there's the chess team, and there's the computer team. I mean, we're probably more into computer stuff, so nice. And what do we have to do for that? We have to level up in programming. Okay. Okay, so Selena made it home and everyone's scared of the lightning, love that. Let's give mom a hug. I'm sure her mom would ask her about school and she would say, you know, today was pretty good. I hung out with a good friend or, a, well, not really a good friend, but a guy I know, Tane. And her mom would probably be like, oh, Tane. Maybe he could be someone you go to the prom with. He sounds nice. I mean, maybe, I don't, I don't really know anyone yet, but he seemed pretty cool. And I joined the computer club. I'm gonna learn how to code, yes. Oh, also, we of course have the new Social Bunny app as well. Um, so we can send a DM. Uh, oh, we know Aurora, <laughs> okay. Um, a friendly message, I guess we're sucking up to the popular girl because we think she's really cool. And I don't know, everyone wants to be friends with the queen bee. Actually, I don't think that's true, but I feel like a lot of people want to be friends with them even if they think they're horrible. Um, we have zero followers, that's lovely. Well, can we add some friends? Who do we know? We know Kaden, we know Blake, we know Tane. We know Daniel, okay. I feel like we're the kind of girl to have our parents and grandpa as well. <laughs> okay, why is Aurora sucking up to us? Selena, have you thought about taking up guitar? I think you'd crush it. it. I feel like that's such a, oh my God, I love your bracelet. That's the ugliest Evan bracelet I've ever seen. Like she says that, but she's like, she would be the worst at guitar. I'm so happy to have a friend like you. Oh my gosh, Selena, no, don't. That's embarrassing. Okay, well, let's meet. Oh, we're friends with Jacob Volkov. Okay, let's send a funny message to them. Tane, let's do a funny message to you. And Kaden, I mean, we're just trying to get to know everyone, so, and we're, we're a nice girl, so I feel like we're just gonna, you know, wanna be friends with everyone. We're probably a bit naive as well. And then hopefully, uh, tomorrow will be another good day. Okay, it is the next day, it's 6 a.m. Oh, we're getting up nice and early. Look, Ollie and Selena chilling out. Let's give some food to Ollie. Although I don't know about the beans for the cat. Also girl, why are you having beans before school? Cause you're gonna be stinky and farty. Like social suicide. Oh, you do a little poo poo. Good Swipe kitty. Up. And grandpa Manu, whoa, your mustache grew. <laughs> I forget this hair growth. Love it. Let's head to the library and get some uh, work done. Club gathering yeah. has started. All right, so we've got um, Blake here, Tane, of course, who we're, we're getting to know, and Tane seems to be quite fond of us. And then we've also got Kaden, who's really like fashionable, trendy, really could be part of the popular crew, but they're more alternative. So they're kind of, they're like too cool for the cool group. You know what I mean? But they're nice as well. Okay, I'm really sorry you are, but I'm gonna have to take this. Oh no, it's already class time. I thought we'd have time for a little bit of programming, but oh well, we picked up some books. Okay, off to school. And why is everyone dressed like this? What is this? They've got jackets and flares on. I don't I don't understand what this means. What what day is it on the calendar? Is it like a football team sports day? Okay. I just I don't know if Tane would really be into that, but that's fine. Oh, who is showing off there? Daniel. Oh, and look, Aurora's tea posing. She's got a cheerleading outfit on. It looks like it's the same students as yesterday. Okay, well, we're gonna do a little bit of programming because that's what we do. We study hard, don't we? Oh, it's time for class. Okay. I do think it's kind of strange that the Ashcrofts are interested in Selena. 
No phones in class, Selena. She's checking social bunny. Actually, I am kind of addicted to checking this. Lunch is a great time to make some friends. Who wants to be besties? Well, we're definitely gonna be like me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna like um, some friend posts. Do we get any messages? Selena, I'm so happy I have a friend like you. Okay, this is weird how Aurora keeps being nice to us. Like, why is she interested in us? I feel like there must be more to the story there. So I think we should go to Aurora's household next. Oh my God, our grandpa's so cute. Hey, bestie, hope you're having an excellent day. <gasps> oh my gosh, why is our mom so mean to us? Not even a cow plant wants to be around you, Selena. Our mom's meant to be so nice to us. And thanks, Jacob. Maybe our mom's having a rough time looking after our grandpa. Oh, oh my gosh, Tane thinks Selena is swell and would like to become best friends. Oh, Tane, of course. And we've got a good reputation, wow. It means we're no longer best friends with our mom, but our mom wasn't being very, very nice to us. Maybe we can, like, it's prom next week. Do we have to stress about prom this weekend? We only just got to school. I feel like it's way too soon. I mean, we could turn off aging. If we turn off aging, maybe prom can be whenever we want. Like, we don't have to do it right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, I just turned aging off. Does this change? Okay, that means prom is this weekend? and next weekend, and the weekend after, and the weekend after. Okay, so prom can be on any day. Can we even cancel prom? Like, I don't know, this stresses me out that prom's like every weekend. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want prom to be every weekend. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna have full aging on or, or fully off. Oh, wow, Selena, you really are gonna go sit next to the principal, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do a friendly introduction. Hi, thanks for having me at the school. And we also wanna be friendly with a student. Well, let's be friendly to Luna. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Tane would like to go to prom with Selena as friends. Does she wanna go? Well, I mean, since prom is every weekend, maybe we could go just as friends. I mean, it's sweet, right? That's really sweet. Oh, hi, Aurora. I'm the new girl, um, Selena. She's like, I know who you are. We messaged last night. Oh, okay, she's not being very, very mean to us. She's like, you need to text me less. Love your jumper. Why did you get it? That's the ugliest Evan jumper I've ever seen. Congrats on landing that sweet job. Thank you. I mean, we didn't really land a job, but I guess we landed computer classes. Okay, so not only are we going to prom with our new best friend, Tane, the most popular girl in the school is talking to us. We have a good reputation probably because she's talking to us and our mom is being horrible because she's really stressed with our grandpa, which makes us not really like home right now. We've got a foreign language class. Oh, and then we have computer team activity. Gosh, we have so much to do. How are we ever gonna even find a prom dress? Uh, Selena turned in good work today, took some good notes. Nice. Hey, why are you being so mean? Well, I guess we'll just do some homework before we head on to our computer class. Hey, I heard you became friends with Tane. He's pretty cool. Thanks, Blake. I love our new school. Everyone's so nice to us. Even like the mean girls nice to us. <laughs> okay, well, we're off to our mathletes. Our mathletes. No, we're not mathleting. We're computer coding, which I feel like it's cool to do computer coding these days. When I was in school, it wasn't. To be honest, I totally get why Amisha is being kind of rude. I think that it must be stressful looking after your dad if they're unwell and they're not as independent as they used to be when the roles reverse. And also she's the breadwinner. Like she's really wanting her family to be successful. She wants her daughter to do well. Um, she earns pretty good money. Like she's in student services and she's probably cooking for them and cleaning for them. Well, she is a single mom, so that's hard. Hi, grandpa. We'll say hello. Oh my gosh, look at her little outfit. It's so cute. <laughs> Grandpa Manu, has mom made dinner yet? No. She only just got back from work. Okay, we'll we'll make some dinner. Selena, why aren't you making dinner? Oh well now your mom has to make dinner. 
Oh, I wonder if Grandpa can help with the uh, homework. Make it a little easier. Aww, he's like, I'll help you out. Back in my day, maths ain't what it used to be. We didn't have those calculator things. Hey, don't feed the cat, Selena. <laughs> That's what her mom would say. So Selena has now done homework three out of five times. So we're on our way to fulfilling her aspiration. We do need to do a little bit more programming. I might switch households though and see how Aurora and Daniel are going and see why Aurora is messaging Selena so much. Okay, Aurora is home. She probably went out late because that's what she does after school. This is her mom, uh, Holly Ashcroft. She's horrible. Um, she's just like obsessed with herself, wants her daughter to be exactly like her. Like she kind of tries to live her youth through Aurora. Um, so maybe let's go up to her mom and brag about our possessions because Aurora doesn't get much love or appreciation from her mom. So bragging is a way to get attention from her. Also, we have this cheerleading trophy um, to put here because she is team captain and Aurora is materialistic. So her mom will probably be like, so Aurora, sit down, honey. Now I want to ask you a serious question. Calm down. If nothing is wrong. I just want to know who you're going to prom with. I assume your boyfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh no. Why is the dad in his speedos? Oh God, that scared the bejesus out of me. Brett's um, also coming in to check on Aurora and her prom date. Now, the reason why her parents are so curious about her prom date and making sure she goes with her boyfriend, Kaden, is because Kaden is from the richest family in town and they would very much like to do business with his family. Uh, her mom's gonna tell her how important it is that she does go to prom with Kaden, that she does look beautiful. We need to organize your tan. We need to get your nails done. We're gonna make you look like a gorgeous little cupcake, my little sunshine cupcake. Um, and Aurora is like, yeah, okay. Um, he hasn't asked me yet. Better make sure he does ask you to prom or else we're gonna have some problems, sweetie. I won't be buying you your prom dress unless he asks you, okay? So yeah, she's not very nice. So her dad also just grew a beard. <laughs> That's so weird how the hair grows, I love it. But he's like, now I know your grades aren't great at the moment. I mean, what are her grades? She's a B, she's, actually her grades are fine. They're good, but in his standards, he's like, he's a knock. So he's like, you need to make sure you have the best grades or else. Other students are gonna get ahead of you. And we can't allow that. You've always gotta be ahead. Do not let the other students get ahead of you. You're an Ashcroft, all right? All right. And uh, how did you go with making friends with the new girl, Selena? She's pretty lame. I don't really want to be friends with her, but whatever. Of course, her mom's just inserting herself into the conversation, being like, you know, if you're friends with Selena, she's a very smart girl, sweetie, and she can teach you a lot of things and help you get your grades up. Maybe you could give her a little makeover and be more inclusive. Ah, oh, fine. So they do want her to be friends with Selena in order to, you know, help her get her grades up, get on the good side of teachers. They know that she's very smart and they want their daughter to be the smartest girl in school, not some new girl from a not known family. So they're saying, you know, don't let that Selena get ahead of you. Make friends with your enemies. Keep her close. <laughs> so yeah, lots of pressure in this family. Also, I just wanna, ex oh gosh, I thought that was her mom for a second. She's like, okay, I'm going to sleep. Get out of my room. <laughs> Can we please uh, shave the dad's beard? Let's shave to preferred length. Okay, doing a little bit of shaving here. That is a huge razor. Oh my gosh, I think he just shaved off his mouth. Looking very good. I have to say, I did not mind the beard on him. Also, is he wearing eyeliner? I mean, I don't mind. Really, it really does. Oh, oh he has very like, strong eyes, which is also possible. Also, what's Daniel doing? Daniel's been working out at 2 a.m. Uh, you know, <laughs> Daniel, he's under an insane amount of pressure as well from his parents. Like his dad wants him to be the best of the best of the best at everything. And it's just, the standards are unrealistic and somehow Daniel manages to fulfill them by just killing himself inside, I think. So he can be a bit of a tool sometimes, I think. 
because, you know, he doesn't really have that home support, even though it might seem like it. And uh, he'll equally be under pressure from his parents, like asking who are you gonna take to prom and also who he should take to prom. Also, this is our butler, Kengo, and I just feel like the mom's kind of crazy. <laughs> Um, maybe, actually, what? She's feeling flirty with the butler. I mean, I'm gonna play into that, you know? She probably loves any male attention she can get. Holly has learned Kengo's romantic orientation. I'm flattered by I'm not interested in, 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 in that type of relationship with you. I'd be happy if, if you'd like to be friends. Okay, so Kengo is... Thankfully not interested. Okay, and Daniel's gonna go to bed really late um, because he's spent all night working out, which is probably realistically the only way how he can achieve so many things is to not get a whole lot of sleep. So I guess with the Ashcroft family, it's all about how much money you have and your status. There's not much else to it for them, which is pretty sad. Also in terms of the school calendar and prom, uh, I guess it's gonna be like a fortnightly dance that you can go to. So I guess we won't treat it as like, wow, it's prom. It's more like, this is the regular dance we go to. <laughs> um, and it's important we go for our social status. It's the morning, Aurora's getting ready for school. She's gonna do facial cleanser. And uh, we're gonna take both her and Daniel to school and we'll see who's at school today. Okay, I love Aurora's outfit today and she's very hangry. It looks like it's the same students. I guess, I don't know how school works to be honest, like the different Sims. I thought they were rotational, maybe they're not. Oh my gosh, Aurora's eating in the principal's office and I love that the principal is just playing games. <laughs> She's like, hello, Aurora. What is it that you need today? I'm in the middle of something very important. Hi, Miss Prescott. I just wanted to talk to you about getting more funding for the cheerleading squad. I really want to get new outfits because the current ones are so last season. Also, my mom and dad won't donate to the school if you don't. <laughs> okay, I will see what I can do, Aurora. I think she just wanted to get away from Aurora and she's really not gonna do anything. All right, so it is class time. Also, where's Daniel at? Daniel's out the front. Oh, Daniel's reputation just went down. What did you do? I don't know, I think he's just a jerk sometimes in general, so. Ooh, difficult problem. The classic math question asks, what is the probability of landing on a specific number when rolling a dice? Um, <laughs> what is the percent chance of landing on the same number three times in a row, five times? Okay, let's rely on our logic skill. Actually, do we even have logic skill? We have two logic skill, it's not terrible. Uh, I feel like Aurora would wing a lot of things. And she actually got lucky. So she got an exam boost. And Daniel, cause he does have some logic skill. He um, got quite a large skill based exam boost. So that's good. His, his hard work is paying off. I think Aurora is probably more interested in creating prom sign because if her boyfriend's not gonna ask her to prom, then she might have to ask him, which is pretty annoying. And she's like, what the hell? Did, did she just leave class? I think she did just leave class. Oh my God, did Daniel leave class as well? Um, Guys, you're meant to be in class. But I feel like if we, oh my God, we're meant to be in an exam right now? Okay, I'm gonna say Daniel didn't get enough sleep. So he, oh my gosh, that's so bad. I think we just missed half the exam. I mean, Aurora doesn't really care. She's more interested in like getting her boyfriend to take her to prom, but Daniel probably does care. Okay, we've got a, we've got a sign. That's awesome. Okay, I feel like Aurora should convince Selena to join the cheerleading team uh, because she knows that her parents want her to keep Selena close. Hey, do you wanna uh, join? my cheerleading squad, I think you'd be so good at it. And this is how I hold my phone now. <laughs> also, they're kind of running late for class. So I feel like she's um, holding her up a bit. Wait, did she say yes? No? I guess Selena said she'd think about it. Oh, it's Kaden! Kaden's here! He's like, hey, what's up? Oh, hey babes. Why is she holding her hand like that? She looks like she's about to punch him in the face. Okay, let's let's ask him to prom. Would you like to come to prom with me? Oh my God, yes. She's like, I actually thought that you would ask me, but it's fine. Oh, he's getting like real pumped up. 
Okay, cool. I'm glad that's sorted. Bye. Love yous. Oh dear, Daniel's stinking. Oh my gosh, we just got yelled at by the teacher. She's like, Vora, you need to go to class. You're not in class, so you're getting detention. Oh no, Aurora's got detention. Exams are finally over. Daniel aced them. Are we surprised? Um, so that's really good. And Aurora, I guess, skipped them. So Daniel's keeping up the impossible standards. Aurora, not so much. She's more worried about socializing. Okay, we better go to detention, I guess. Daniel's off to football. Oh, look at Molly in detention. I feel like Aurora would kind of bully Molly and just be like, she's so annoying. Maybe she'll open up Social Bunny. Wow, we have a lot of messages. Let's do a new post about finals that I'm very happy to have missed my finals. Who has time for that? And then let's do a mean post. We'll tag. I don't think we can add Molly as a friend on Social Bunny because we don't get along, which sucks because I wanted to say something mean to her. And Aurora had about as poor day as possible. She might as well be absent from class. Okay, well, Aurora's got cheerleading practice, so she's gonna head over there. So because it's Friday night, of course, Aurora's gonna see her BFFs after school. Um, feels so fun to be around. And she's learned Savannah is a bit of a party animal. Very beautiful, very rich. It's actually her boyfriend's sister. Probably actually a little bit of a threat as well to her. She probably like finds herself trying to keep Savannah in her place a lot. Savannah, where did you go? And also she has her friend Lucy here who is a bit of a sheep um, with the other two girls because of course they need the power trio. Tell engaging story. Maybe we can tell them about the new girl at school. Be like, you know, Selena's really cute. I feel like we could help her and maybe give her like a bit of a makeover, you know? Don't you think that would be so much fun? Cause she's such a geek. Why would you be interested in her? She's not even that pretty. Like compared to you, Aurora. I mean, babes, I don't know. I just looked at her social. She doesn't really seem like someone you would usually like. I'm not saying we need to be best friends with her, but just have some fun with her. I just want a little project. Now, bitch, get in my picture. Not you, Lucy. Savannah. I'm totally putting this on social, bunny. <laughs> I think Aurora would just tell Savannah and Lucy, like, Selena's just like a fun project, like a little toy for her to make over. But really, she's trying to make her over so she can make her parents happy by hanging out with her and keeping her close, even though she's not really that cool. She kind of needs to make her look good. We'll also boast about messing around with Kaden because... So back at home, I was just checking in on Daniel and interestingly, he is friends with Kaden James, who I wouldn't have picked because Kaden's quite alternative and fashionable, quite edgy for Daniel. Like Kaden's kind of the opposite to a jock. Um, so it's interesting, but maybe, you know, seeming as though Daniel's like interested, I'll send a message. He just thinks Caden's cool, you know? Well, anyway, guys, I might leave this part right here. It is now the weekend, so maybe we'll throw a party or something tomorrow night. So in the next part, we have our first prom dance, our fortnightly prom. So that'll be a bit cute. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think so far. We have so many stories to tell, so make sure to tune into the next part and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, um, get your Deligracy Motherlode crewnecks. There's also t-shirts as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Cacti!